Good morning, boys and girls. This is Miss Taylor here to do morning meeting with you guys again today. Let's get ready for our morning song. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Good morning, everyone. How are you? Good, good. Good morning, everyone. How are you? Good, good. It's time to start our day. We're here to work and play. Good morning, everyone. How are you? Good, good. Good morning, everyone. Today, we are in a brand new day. Do you guys think you can help me sing our month song to figure out what month we're in? All right, here we go, everyone. Get ready. Three, two, one. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, then we turn around. Ooh, what month are we in? We've been doing this the last couple days. We're in the month of March. You're exactly right. And last month was the month of February. What will next month be? Let's see if we can remember. After March comes April. Good job. Next month will be April. But we're still in the month of March. Are you ready to figure out our days of the week? Here we go. Three, two, one. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Let's look at our calendar and find our green card for where yesterday was. Yesterday, we go all the way up to the top was Monday. The day after Monday is t -t -t Tuesday. And after Tuesday comes w -w Wednesday. So today, boys and girls, is Tuesday, March the 24th. 2020. We've been in school for 129 days. That's a very long time. And we have 42 days of school left. Okay, so we've been in school for 129 days and you guys have learned so much in 129 days. Awesome job. Today, I want to do something new with morning meeting. Down here at the bottom of my calendar, I have a tense frame, and I also have a number sentence. My number sentence says five plus three equals. And you'll see on my calendar that I have used my counters to help me solve this addition problem. So my five is the color red. So I used five red counters. Can you count them with me? One, two, three, four, five. And then it says to add three yellow counters. So five plus three. Let's count the three yellow counters to make sure Miss Taylor did it right. One, two, three. So I have my five red counters and my three yellow counters. Now we need to figure out how many we have all together or the sum, okay? So I could count all of my counters, all the red plus all the yellow, but I know that I have five red counters already. So what I'm gonna do is count on after five. So this would be five, six, seven, eight. Did you see how I did that? I counted on from the first number to get the sum. So how many counters do we have all together? Five plus three equals? Eight, you're right, awesome job. Let's see if we can do another one. Oh, I have another one. I'm gonna clear off my counters. And this number sentence says six plus two equals. So the number six is red, so I'm gonna use my red counters. Can you guys count with me? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that one ran away. Six. I have six red counters. And now it says let's add two yellow counters. 
counters to see how many we have all together. One, two. All right, we got six red counters plus two yellow counters. How many do you think we have all together? Let's see, we know we have six. What number comes after six? Seven, eight. Six plus two equals eight. You guys are so smart. Great work. Yesterday, I asked you if you could find something in your house that's shorter than a pencil. Did anyone find anything that's shorter than a pencil? If not, I challenge you to today, and maybe even you could look outside and see if you could find a bug that's shorter than a pencil. It's a bright sunny day, so maybe you can get some fresh air and go outside. Or maybe you can find a rock that's shorter than a pencil. So many spring things that you can find outside. I have one more thing for you for morning meeting today. We are now in our fourth quarter of school, which means we have new bubblegum words to do every day. All right, I am gonna to introduce to you the four new bubblegum words for this week. Here's the first one. Does anyone know what this word is? If you said the word but, you are right. B-U-T spells but. Like, I want to go outside, but it is raining. That's how we use the word but in a sentence. My next word is the word into. Into. Will you go into the pool with me? Into. The next word we have is the word good. Good. I am so good at math. Good. And the last one is the word too, T-O-O. -O. I love ice cream too. Those are our four sight words for the week. Can you practice them with me? Here we go. We have the word but, to, into, and the word good. Awesome job. Those are our four new sight words for the week. And this was morning meeting with Miss Taylor. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.